Hello and welcome. We're going to use an area model here to solve this problem. It might look scary at first, but watch how quickly we can break this thing down. We have 9x to the 4th minus 4x squared. So the area model, um, you know, if you run into a problem you're not familiar with, just start putting terms into certain regions of the model. It'll break down quite nicely. If I put 9x to the 4th in this region and minus 4x squared here, I can quickly look at the factors to see what's happening. I know 3x squared times 3x squared is 9x to the 4th, so so far it checks out. I also know that negative 2x times positive 2x is negative 4x squared. And this is actually the answer to the problem. I think at least we can stop here. But uh, just to check it, what's going on, negative 2x times 3x squared, that's minus 6x to the third. And 3x squared times 2x is also 6x to the, 6x to the third. And this just shows me that things are going to cancel out quite nicely if I am keeping track, right? This is 9x to the fourth. These two terms are opposites. They cancel out to 0x. And minus 4x squared is right here. So this is actually the original binomial we're looking at. So we're looking for the two binomials that multiply to it. And they're here and here. OK, so the two binomials we need are 3x squared minus 2x times 3x squared plus 2x. Now we could go further. Uh, they do ask for two binomials, so we can stop here, but let me show you how to go further. Um, notice that there's definitely a common factor in all of these. It's x. So if we pull x out, we get 3x minus 2. And again, same thing, right? We have x times 3x, but plus 2. All right, so now if we were to multiply x by x, and we can do that, we can change the order, that's the commutative property, we would ultimately get this for an answer. x squared times 3x minus 2 times 3x plus 2. And that could be our answer as well. But since they asked for binomials, let's stop here at this step. Thanks.